Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have this Chevy Malibu in. And at first glance, this thing looks like a normal disaster detail with tons of trash and tons of stains, but it's what's under the carpet that brings this car over the top for being really, really nasty. But we just wanted to make this video to hopefully motivate you guys at home to keep up with your details and make sure your car is clean. I'm not saying you have to detail your car every day, but this car is gonna show you that if you leave trash and food in your car, this is what may happen to your vehicle. So without further ado, let's jump right into the detail. We're gonna go ahead and start this car off by removing all the clothes, all the trash, all the food, anything that was left in this car, we're gonna go ahead and take it out. That way we can come back through later with a vacuum and not have to worry about our hoses getting clogged up or the vacuum tools. Now that we got the seats out of this thing, you can really see how much trash and debris and dirt and grime was just stuffed up underneath these seats and just completely forgot about. Jumping straight into the pre-vacuum, we're going to go ahead and vacuum up everything that was too little to be picked up by hand and thrown away, as well as making sure we have all the loose dirt and debris out of the carpet so it doesn't clog up the extractor later on. While we were doing the pre-vacuum on the car, we discovered a bunch of dead roaches, and anywhere there's dead roaches, there's most likely live roaches. Just as suspected, when we pulled the carpet back, there was a bunch of live roaches. As we began removing the carpet, we quickly came back through with the vacuum to suck up as many live roaches as we could before they had a chance to escape. Thank you. 
After we vacuumed up as many roaches as we could get, we quickly took the vacuum out of the shop into the dumpster outside and threw them in the dumpster. While our local exterminators here bombing the car, we're going to go ahead and start our extraction process on the seats as well as cleaning the rest of the panels that were pulled out of the car. So starting with the seats for the cloth portion, we're going to go ahead and spray it with some all-purpose cleaner, come back through with a drill brush, make sure we break up all those stains really good, and then come back through with an extractor, make sure we suck up all the leftover cleaner so that way when the seat dries, it dries nice and clean and it doesn't have any stains that come back up to the surface. And then for the leather portion of the seat, we're going to go ahead and spray it too with some all-purpose cleaner. Come back through with a softer detail brush. Make sure we scrub it real well to get all the dirt out of the cracks of the seat. And then come back through and mop it dry with a nice soft microfiber towel. Thank you. 
The extraction process we'll be using for the carpet is going to be the same we use for the seats other than we're going to change the stiffness of the drill brush and use a regular stiff brush to scrub out all the hard built-in stains. After repeating this process several times, we came to the conclusion that this was just as clean as it was going to get. Once we were done extracting the carpet, we gave them to the exterminator, that way they could sanitize the bottom sides of them.
Once we got all the plastics off the center console, we realized the best way to clean it was to take it outside and use a soft detail brush, some all-purpose degreaser, and a water hose to get in all the small cracks that were all behind the plastic. To clean the rest of the interior pieces that we took out, I'll be using some all-purpose cleaner, a soft detail brush, and a microfiber towel. After the exterminators got done bombing the car, we left it to air out for 24 hours. So now we can finally get started on the interior. And for this, I'll be using some all-purpose cleaner, a soft detail brush, and a microfiber towel to dry everything once I'm done.
Now that we got the car all put back together, here's some before and after shots. And you can tell that the 72 hours that we spent deep cleaning this car has really paid off. So if you guys like watching these awesome transformations, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future uploads.